Now, let us see how do I configure a freestyle job to run the job on this particular node. Okay, we have the job right, uh, the first pipeline, the first job. Let us see how do I configure it to run on this particular node. So let's go to our first job and click on configure. And then now you can see a additional option is being added in the general section. So restrict where this project can be run. Okay, select that. And you can start typing the label. So under general section, you will see a new option called restrict where this project can be run. In that, let me give the label. If you start typing it, it is going to list things for you. So type in Linux. And then click save. So let me save this and let me build the job and see what is happening. So the build number 22 is getting started. You see the console output. You can see it is saying building remotely on Linux. So this is the directory it is doing. And you see that it is downloading the Java because I don't have the tools available there. Right, it is downloading the Java and it is pulling the Git. Okay, and it will also do the Maven Maven installation also. If you see that unpacking the Maven because on that server I never had the Java and Maven available. So as I am defining them in the tool, so the Jenkins automatically downloads them and it will execute that. This will run for some time. Plus, it needs to download all the dependencies, right? Because the dependencies were downloaded on my master. But this time it is running on the slave. So you will get it has to download all the dependencies. So for me, it is unstable because my it is not able to push the jar file to the remote because in the SSH configuration, what we have done is it should push the file to the local host. Okay, let me change it back to the public IP of the uh, master server. Then this should work. So, click on manage Jenkins in the configure system. So, in the publish over SSH plugin, we have created the target server. There we have mentioned it as local host. Okay. But uh, when it is running from the node, uh, from the slave, local host will not work. So let me, instead of changing the, instead of this host name, let me change it to the public IP of my Jenkins. Then it should work. Yes, so yes, yes. configure Jenkins. Instead of host name, I'm going to put it as my public IP of my Jenkins server. Let me save this. And if I try to build it now. So previously we had local local host. Now I'm changing it to the public IP of the master. There should not be any port number, nothing, only the IP address. So in the job I'm mentioning, I want this to be running on the Linux node. So master will allocate the job to the slave. The slave will execute it there on the server. Okay, that's that is the reason it is downloading the jar and the uh, it is downloading the JDK and Maven. All those things it's re-downloading and it is getting executed and it is giving the result back to the master. Put that information on my pipeline like in a how, I'm, how I can specify that it, you should use that node in the pipeline. Okay. So the option is, okay, let's go to my 
let's move go to my github and first let me update my webhook url right so my webhook uh, previously i was using a different ip right that shouldn't be working so let me just edit the webhook url because the ip address is changed today right so let me get the master ip address this is my master ip address and let me update it on my webhook so in my webhook i'm updating the new ip and let me update webhook now let us go to the code and in the jenkins file let me modify this in the jenkins file instead of agent any i am going to specify it should run it on a agent where the label is linux so let me in the pipeline instead of agent any i'm going to replace it saying agent open bracket l a b l label linux i want it to run on a agent whose label is linux let me close that and this line instead of agent any replace it with this content let me commit this then which job i have this um, for the first pipeline do we have the webhook configured let's see yeah i think i have a webhook configured on the declarative pipeline it should work now yeah so it should have triggered a declarative pipeline and if you see the console log of it you can see it is running on linux and it is doing the activity for me it should be completed now so i have a job called declarative pipeline where the webhook is configured so when i make the changes it is getting updated here So then guys everyone the job got automatically triggered and the successful